All right. Here's another fine example of Brother Jimmy Swagger throwing down. We don't have preachers like this anymore. If so, they're very rare, and I haven't seen one in many years. I felt led to find these little clippings. I watched uh, the Jimmy Swagger classics uh, pretty much every day at home uh, till I start my new job this coming Monday. But working anyway from time to time, even, at, even in my being that I'm self-employed also, I still record them and watch them every time I get a chance. This one is from is from uh, Dallas, Texas, April the 30th, 1983. And uh, I was 15 or 16 years old. But um, this is exactly the rebuke America needs now. I want y'all to keep in mind as it uh, re the recording goes on, this is 1983. You're going to think that this is preaching nowadays, and this is what we need currently. But uh, watch how it goes and be blessed. And as you pray and you pray for this country, pray that the Lord spares us and, and gives us preachers like this once again in Jesus' name. Isaiah 3, 5, 
The people shall be oppressed, every one by another, and every one by his neighbor. Anarchy, lawlessness. It's like Isaiah was speaking of America. Anarchy. Short time ago, the August ACLU The American Civil Defense League that ought to be called the American Criminal League sued President Reagan with some preachers, quote unquote helping them, preachers, because President Reagan has declared 1983 as the year of the Bible. The American Civil Liberties Union was founded by Roger Baldwin, who was a member of enough communist organizations stagger the nation. These wicked individuals with one thing in mind, and that is to destroy the fabric of the American way of life. I want you, the television, to look at me. Some of you newsmen that might be watching went to bed with a hang over your head as big as a barrel and you've gotten up this morning bloodshot eyes and you staggered over and turned on the television set and now you're leaning back in bed and Lord to help behold you got this preacher on and your head's hurting so bad you don't feel like you're <coughs> you off I want you to know something you can write your pep you can write, write your trash you can write your trivia. You can write that which is a, is, a, is a disgrace in the eyes of Almighty God. But the American way of life is founded on this Bible that I hold in my hand tonight. This is America. This is America. This is the United States of America. Bible, the word of Almighty God. This is our nation from sea to shining sea, from its mountain tops to its deserts, from its villages to its cities. This is the United States of America. Yes, hallelujah. system that teaches man came from monkeys and eliminates God from the classrooms of our public schools. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of dead preachers preaching dead sermons to dead congregations. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of politicians selling their soul for a few dollars and a few votes. 
I'm sick of fellow traveling communist liberals who constantly praise Russia and criticize the United States of America. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. I'm sick of pill popping, cigarette sucking, coke snorting, long haired, beer guzzling, freakish rock stars held up as the examples of our young people. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of putrid, pathetic, pukish pup that passes for entertainment coming over my television set. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of evolution, secular humanism, materialism, and communism. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the great United States of America being slapped around by every tin horn, two fit dictator on the face of the earth while we fold our hands and apologize to the lots of the Khomeini's, the Kadafis, and the Castro's. I'm sick of it. We'll have this Bible or we will have anarchy. Isaiah 3 and 4, once again. Let me read the last half of Isaiah 3 and 5. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient and the base against the honorable. Old people are held in disdain in the United States today. It ought to be the crowning time of their lives. But I've got news for you. I've got news for you, those of you that walk in the dignity and the experience and the wisdom of years. Secular dialectical humanism has found an answer to your problem. It's called euthanasia. They just stick a needle in your veins and put you to sleep and you don't wake up. That's what hell has for you. That's what God said Israel had come to. No respect for the elderly. Disdain for the elderly. Isaiah 3 and 9. The shoe of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They had it not. They declare their sin as Sodom. They had it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. America is on a binge tonight of unashamed sinning. No shame anymore. What are you saying, Jenny Swaggart? I'm saying this. If you value your soul and you value heaven and you value eternity and you value any love for God that you may have, my Bible says to come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord of hosts, and separate yourself from that which is evil, and I will receive you unto myself. Unashamed sinning. Unashamed sinning. One and a half million babies are murdered every year. One and a half million. Keep in a half. Keep Call in mind, 1983. Murder. You can spell it A-B-O-R-T-I-O-N, but it's really spelled in the mind of God, M-U-R-D-E-R. Murder! Murder! I want to tell you, doctors, one day you'll answer to God for it. Nurses, one day you'll answer to God for it. Politicians, one day you'll answer to God for it. Legislators, one day you'll answer to God for it. Judges, one day you'll answer to God for it. The 1960s, the sexual revolution started. All restraints were thrown aside as individuals engaged in an orgy of filth to break the laws of God Almighty as the Ten Commandments were laughed at, lampooned, lambasted, and leered at. 